All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, so far, so far what we've talked about, we talked about the binomial expansion, right? And then we've also talked about Pascal's triangle. So, without going into x plus y raised to the n power, right? There's a whole bunch of ways we could, you know, write this out. But what I want to tell you is each term, all right, Olivia, we can represent as x to the n minus r times y to the r. All right? Every single one of my terms can be written in this format, where n is going to be my degree right, of my expansion, and then minus my r, which will, be the, which will be the degree of the other one. And remember, when we look at this, does that make sense? Could I write this as y to the 0, and this is x to the 0? Then this would be 1, and that would be x to the 1. So think about it. 3, what's my r in this case? For this first term, what's my r? 0. Well, is 3 minus 0? 3, yes. And then you do y to the 0, which is 1. So therefore, that's all you're just left with, x to the third. And then over here, now my y is 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2, right? And then you have y to the, um, and then y to the first power, y to the r. All right? Yes? It, we're going to talk about when we're going to find that. All I'm, all I'm saying is, every single one of our terms can be written in this format. You notice how as my x's decrease, my, my y, the degrees of my y's increase, right? Right? 3, 2, 1, 0. The y's, 0, 1, 2, 3. As the degree in the second term increase, the degree in my first term decrease, right? So all I'm telling you is that every single format or every single term in my binomial expansion can be represented like this. We're going to talk about how this is going to affect us in a second. All I want you to know is every single term can be represented in this format. OK? All right. Now, here's how.